Welcome back, Math Grizz. Today, we will solve multiplication word problems using a tape diagram. So far, we have been working on multiplication. We have learned how to use repeated addition, arrays, and the commutative property of multiplication. Today, we are focusing on tape diagrams. We know we need three times six, three parts with six, one part with six, two parts with six, three parts with six. If we put those together, we get our whole. Our whole is 18. Three times six equals 18. Three parts of six equals 18. Three groups of six equals 18. Let's begin with this problem. Santiago's class went on a trip. They went in five cars, five cars. We need five parts. Each car carried six students with one adult driving. This car needs six kids with one adult. This car needs six kids with one adult. They all need six kids with one adult because it says each car. How many students went on the trip? That is why we need to find our total, our whole on top. Total students on the trip. We need to put six plus six plus six plus six plus six together. We know that we can do five times six. Five times six is 30. And six plus six is 12. 12 plus six more is 18. 18 plus six more is 24. And 24 plus six more is 30. We could do it both ways, as long as we get the correct total. We have 30 kids. And let's see how many adults we have. One, two, three, four, five. Five adults. It's not asking for adults, though. We need to be very careful. It says just students. Let's try this one. Amber's class went on a trip. They went in four cars. One, two, three, four. Four parts. Each car carried eight students with one adult driving. Eight kids, eight kids, eight kids, and eight kids. How many students went on the trip? We need our whole, our total number of students on the trip. Let's put eight plus eight plus eight plus eight together. Eight plus eight is 16. 16 plus 8 more is 24. 24 plus 8 more is 32 kids. We could also do 4 times 8, which is 32. Miss Garcia makes 6 bracelets. Each bracelet uses 10 beads. Let's make our 6 bracelets. And each bracelet uses 10 beads. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, and 10. How many beads does Mrs. Garcia use in all? We need our whole. How many total beads? Let's count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. She needs 60 beads for all of her six bracelets. We could also do six times 10 equals 60, or 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 equals 60. Anna makes three bracelets. Each bracelet uses nine beads. How many beads does Anna use in all? So we need three bracelets, one, two, three. Each bracelet uses nine beads. Let's give this one nine, this one nine, and this one nine. How many beads does Anna use in all? In all is our whole. Our whole is going to be nine plus nine plus nine, which is 27. Or we can do three times nine, which is also 27. Shiraj has two pencils. Giovanni has four times as many. So here's Giovanni, he has one time as many, two times as many, three times as many as Shiraj, and four times as many as Shiraj. How many pencils does Giovanni have? Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's look at it with a tape diagram. Shivraj has two pencils. Giovanni has four times that much. One time, two times, three times, four times. Let's put that together, two plus two plus two plus two, and we get a total of eight pencils. Thomas has three pencils. Maria has two times as many. One time, two times. How many pencils does Maria have? 
3 plus 3 is 6. Let's use a tape diagram. Thomas has three pencils. Maria has two times as many. One time, two times. Three and three make 